Alright, there's a video for 1HT and 1VT about uh, some of the exercises from the previous lesson. You have to round off a couple of things. And here are some uh, new words like thousandth, hundredth, and tenth. So I'd like to explain what, uh, what those are. So over here, I wrote down a random number. And that what tenth actually means is, um, is one out of ten. So it's like the first number behind the point. The second one are the, uh, the hundreds, so it's the second decimal place. The thousands are the uh, third decimal place. So in Dutch, this would be uh, een tiende, een honderdste, en een duizendste. Maar dit geval heb je dan twee duizendste. And that's how that works. So here we have uh, 35.46528. And we need to round it off to the nearest thousands. So that means that we have to round off to uh, this number, this 5 here. So we're going to take a look at the next number, that's a 2. The 2 is, uh, is smaller than 5, so that means you round it off downwards. So this stays a 5. So the answer is 35.465. That's the answer. Exercise B. Now we need to round it off to the hundredth. So that's uh, over here where the 6 is. Oh, behind it there's a 5. That means you round it off upwards. So this 6 becomes a 7. So you have 35.47. Then C, the nearest tenth. There's this number. That's a 4. So we take a look at the next number. That's a 6. So that means you go up. So the 4 becomes a 5. So you have 34.5. And if you want to round off to a whole number, then here's 35. We take a look at the first decimal place. That's a 4. So that means it goes down. So it stays 35. So this is how you round that off. Moving on to the uh, next exercise. That's exercise 16. It says on oh, the same exercise, sort of, but now the number is a bit more complicated because we have all those 9s there. And they're going to be annoying. Well, uh, you'll see that in a moment. If you want to round off to the nearest thousand, that means that we have to round off to this number, this 9 here. The next number is a 5, that means you go up, so that means that this becomes 10. So then you have a bit of a problem, because then it becomes a 0, and then this one becomes one higher. So you have 8.96. Now if you want, you can write down a 0 here, because you have to round off to the uh, thousand. But you can also leave the 0 away, because it's exactly the same number if you don't write down the 0. Okay? Exercise B, we need to round off to the nearest hundred. So that's this number here, this 5. The next one is a 9. So this one goes up, so it's 8.96. So you see you get that actually the same answer if you round off to thousands or hundreds. Exercise C, round off to the nearest tenth. So that's this number over here. Next to it is a 5. So it goes up, so that means it becomes 9. Now you can write down 9.0, but you don't have to. So this will be enough. And then exercise D, which I'll write down over there. Round this off to a whole number. If you round it off to a whole number, you also get 9. So again, we see that you get the same answer for two different questions. Moving on to exercise 17. The sign says Domburg 7. Why is this a rounded number? Well, sometimes you see these things on... Um, I mean, the sign is actually not here. In your book it is. But it's a sign that says how many kilometers you have to cycle to get... Uh, to a city, in this case, to, uh, to Dumburg. Well, it's a rounded off number because it's very hard to uh, measure the exact amount of meters that you have to travel. Also, it doesn't not really make a lot of sense, right? If you have to cycle a meter more or less, it doesn't really matter. So that's why they round it off to just whole kilometers because then it's nice and short and clear you know, how far away the distance is. So, I mean, I'm not going to write all that down. You can just, uh, I think you have uh, an idea yourself also. Going to go to question B. It says, which of the following distances are possible? So what could the real distance be? And then when you round it off, you still get 7. Here we see 7,450 meters. So we have to ask ourselves, is that closer to 7 kilometers or is that closer to 8 kilometers? Well, because there's a 4 here, it's closer to 7 kilometers. So this one is possible. Take a look at this one. This is 6450. Well, because there's a 4 here, this one is actually closer to 6 kilometers, so that one is not possible. This one is actually already very close to 7, so that one is possible. And the next one is 69, so you can round off upwards, so this is also possible. So these three are all possible distances to Dumburg, and when you round it off, you get 7 kilometers. Moving on to the final exercise that I want to talk about in this video is exercise 18. It says you can also round to the nearest 100,000 or 10,000. Now you, you see a different way in, nota in notation here. Here it just says 100 with a D and here it says 100 with a DTH. So this means uh, 1 out of 100, so a very small number. And this actually means just 100, so like a big number. 
So over here we also see a big number. We see 8,257,139.9, right? Now the thing between uh, the Dutch notation and the English notation of numbers is that in the Netherlands we actually use a comma here to say that you get a... Um, a broken number and then we use a point there and in England they do the other way around so this comma stands for millions and this comma stands for thousands and this point stands for point nine okay now usually when I write down a big number I just leave away these commas to avoid any confusion so I would just leave a little space between the two numbers but don't write down the comma what you uh, do you can decide yourself it says here as an example if you have 83,251 and you round it off to the nearest thousands you get 83,000 Rounding it off to the nearest hundred, you get 83,300. It makes sense because you need to round it off to hundreds. Here we have this number, and we need to round it off to the nearest million first. So that means that we have 8,257,000 and then some more. There's a 2 here. That means you round it off downwards. So this becomes 8 million. Now you can write it down as 8 million like this with six zeros, but you can also write down 8 million and then you don't have to write down the zeros whatever you want exercise b now we have to round it off to thousands so that means here we have eight million two hundred and fifty seven thousand so if we look at this one so that means you round it off downwards so this becomes eight million two hundred and fifty seven thousand and then we rounded it off to the nearest thousand exercise c now we have to round it off to the nearest ten well, these are, this is the decimal places, right? And then these are the normal, like, the units. And then here we have the tens. So it's like 39, so we have to round off to this number. The next one is a 9, so that means that the 3 becomes a 4. So we have 8,257,140. And that's it. And then question D. We have to round off to the nearest 1. That means just a whole number. So we don't want to have this 0.9. We don't want to have that. Well, you can see it's already very close to 140 here, so the answer is also 8,257,140. So these are the answers for exercise 15 till 18. Hopefully that makes it a bit more clear. If you have any other questions, uh, please let me know.